and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Orzov midrange. This is a deck that I am pretty excited about that I really wanted to try that I wanted to put together. And basically I like all these cards here. So put this together earlier to try to play. Um, like the main thing that I wanted to do whenever I put this together really was I wanted to make a really good shell for Takali Honor Guard where this card uh, shuts down Risen Reef and Risen Reef is kind of everywhere. And so I wanted to play a deck that could play Takali Honor Guard and still be good against, you know, most everything else in the metagame. Not only does it shut down Risen Reef, but then the other thing it, it does is against the Simic Flash deck, it stops Trickster and uh, Frilled Mystic, which those are both very important cards to stop as well. Um, and of course, in the Elemental deck, also Omnath. This is just a, a card that I really wanted to focus on and build a deck around. So this is what we got. We got a couple of Tamiks in here also in our two drop slot to stop Nissa's tick uh, plus one and just to be, you know, a two, three flyer, but to also stop Nissa. We got a, uh, some various black, white removal spells. And honestly, that's kind of the hardest part of the deck is kind of picking out exactly what removal spells to play because there's so many good ones um, that, you know, are just good in different situations and so this is what i came up with here one contempt one mortify and othakaya and then lots of cast downs and a couple of the sparks i like cast down in particular because of um, well you know it can take out like a mana creature early but because of the simic flash deck i wanted a removal spell that can take out the uh two one the cutthroat um, and be able to take out Night Pack Ambusher, and it costs two mana, so it wouldn't trade down on mana against the Cutthroat. And so Cast Down is our choice, because it can take out both of those things at your end step. Whenever they flash them in, you can kill them right away. Um, so we got three Cast Downs in here. We got our Angel package. Y'all know me, how much I really like the Angels, and how like these cards are just so good against aggro and everything. We're not playing against, like, there's just not nearly as many of uh, control decks with a whole lot of Wraths running around, because those decks are just getting out card advantaged by the green decks. So we don't have to really worry as much about playing four and five mana creatures that don't have an ETB effect that uh, get swept away uh, into sweepers like um, here. So we got those. Uh, we got Midnight Reaper is a, a pretty decent card that gives us some good card advantage. Like me, some Midnight Reapers. Um, and uh, got an Oketra, which the Oketra doesn't really fit the deck super well, but Oketra is just really powerful. It will just win you games uh, on its own. So I think it's it's certainly worth having one Oketra in, in the deck because it's just such a strong card. Even if it's Even if we're not like really building around Oketra or have the most synergy with it, it's just that strong of a card. Um, and then we can bring things back. Soren, Command the Dread Horde, bring things back. Especially having being able to bring back Takali Honor Guard is pretty important because if we're playing this against Teamer Elementals, they Lightning Strike our Honor Guard, we're going to want to bring it back. So we got these Sorens that can do just that. Um, also, obviously, gives our creatures lifelink, which is good with Reaper, good with Resplendent Angel, uh, good for Command the Dread Horde, and so on. Um, side, so, yeah, pretty excited about this deck. Also, sideboard... Um, yeah, Oketra does not get shut down by Honor Guard, which is awesome. Um, sideboard, I got a lot of, like, one ofs because there are so many good good cards in black and white, and a lot of good sideboard options in black and white, and that's the thing that's kind of tough is building the sideboard. Um, so we'll kind of see how we go here. Obvi Duress is just obvious. That card's amazing. Uh, I mean, Legion's Ed, Noxious Grasp, Elder Spell, they all kind of do their, th their thing that you expect. Dispark, very good against Frenzy. And Wilderness Reclamation and more expensive Planeswalkers. Gideon's going to be coming in against the control deck. Kaya, I'm going to try out a Kaya for like just like the all the various uh, aggro decks, like the like uh, vampires, uh, mono red, mono white, like these decks that have uh, mono blue. Also, all these decks that have little one uh, CMC permanents. And Kaya can come in and exile one of those and still be able to stay out. Um, I guess we could play it against a Command the Dread Horde deck with the, the plus one, or if we play against Phoenix. Um, but obviously, we're a Command the Dread Horde deck too, though. But got one of those in. Got a Kai's Wrath against like a kind of like the um, maybe the Wild Growth Walker decks, like decks with the, just a ton of creatures. We got our Kai's Wrath. And I want to try a Finale of Eternity also, like against the mana creature decks, like where we can try to kill like three mana creatures or like a. Um, and 
you know, just have one spell to kill some of their creatures. Like, if it costs five mana for Exodus 3, we could kill a Nissa land and a mana creature and a Risen Reef, for example, there. And another Command the Dread Horde against Control, uh, be able to bring things back. So pretty excited about this one. Haven't actually played the games yet with it. We just I just made it today. Um, but we're gonna send it on over to ranked right away. We're gonna play at least five, we're gonna play five matches in ranked. See how it does. See if this deck gets us to mythic. Maybe it will. We're pretty close to mythic. How far away am I? I guess I think I'm I think I'm five wins away. So I guess it would have to go five zero. So not the most likely. So yeah, I think the vampire deck is really strong. I like it quite a bit. I have uh, my own version of vampires. That I've played quite a bit that I like. Yeah, it's a it's a good deck. All right, we'll be keeping this ditching. Uh, I guess just a swamp. All right, looking for spells. Um, not like the best here, but this is a lot better than a land. Um. Yeah, sure, we'll keep it. Yeah, I don't have Chupac... I, while I do really like Chupacabra, I don't have any Chupacabras in here because we are a Takali Honor Guard deck. And uh, those two cards don't really work too well together. All right, we got Black White Vampires for our first matchup. Thanks again, Kazunato. Definitely hoping for something to play here this turn. Taking turn three off. Pretty rough against the aggro deck. Okay. Not so bad, though. They got the slower hand. Mm. Stop drawing lands, deck. So that's seven lands and ten cards. Because, of course, we put one land to the bottom. Bleh. I drink only the finest. Yeah, the Seraph animation is really sweet. I wouldn't mind drawing uh, Lyra Dombringer. What is one life to save many? That Soren Imperious Bloodlord is such a great card. It's a much harder to beat the Vampire deck when they have that than whenever they don't. So I either bring back Seraph immediately with Soren. Or I tick Soren up. If I tick Soren up and then like have both attack their Soren, they could kill mine. Oh, I guess I missed the, the two points of life. I forgot about the life link. Whoops. You taste my blade. Uh, I'm bringing Seraph back immediately. I require no body, not Whoops, I guess I should have two more life. We'll see if that costs me. Yeah, I don't I don't hate that, Matthew. Just one life to save many. All right, so now there's Soren's at four loyalty. We, we got four one ones. Yeah, Lotus Field in that green white deck that you're trying to make makes a lot of sense. Lotus Field kill or er, Cass Vivian. I like it.
little trust I had. Yeah, when has two life points ever mattered? Never, right? About sacrificing their vampires. Make yourself useful. Darn. I was just thinking that Command the Dread Horde would be a really good card to draw. My bloodline flows through you. Hmm. Lyra Dawnbringer, be a really good card to draw. We're not going to have a one mana removal spell, right? Darkness will always return. Right row. Accept the darkness within. No, I, I don't. I think Soren plus holding back the one ones. Was gonna lose. I think that that play is losing to their Soren. From a long time ago. Wow. We have to kill the Vanguard. Whoa. We got to kill the Vanguard. I'm not going to assume that my opponent's going to mess up again on Vanguard. So I'm getting it out of here. Hey, what's up, Oketra? Just in case they remove Oketra, we'll just keep the 1-1 one -one here. Boo. Come on, draw a creature. Come on, deck, draw a creature. Bleh. Hey, Eddie. Oh, no. They're drawing a lot of gas over there. Well, that's not good.
We need to draw a creature. Any creature will do. That's a creature. Winner. I guess I should be playing the lands, because, yeah, we could draw Resplendent Angel and then be able to Resplendent Angel and activate if I play out the lands, so... I should be playing the lands. That's a sweet-looking token. Twilight Prophet. That thing's gonna hurt. Ugh. Not another Soren. That card's so hard to beat. We already beat. We already took out two of them. Stop. Thank you for your service. Ow. Give me these. No. Not looking good for the home team. They just, uh, they reveal something that costs five mana. We die. I guess I can only block four creatures, though, also. We're good. Reveal a land so we don't take any damage. Taste of my power. All right, we're going to need to draw a creature here. I'm in a lot of trouble if we don't draw a creature. I'm not blocking with this flyer so I can have six power to kill Soren. But... All right, cyborg time. Let's get some Legion's Ends. Finale. Um, nah. Kaya and her wrath. Yeah, yeah, we want Kaya. Okay. I know Dispark does have a couple of hits, but I'm going to take it out. It's not a lot of hits. I think I kind of want to take out Tikotli and Tamink.
Not really loving what the, those cards are doing. We're going to cut one Midnight Reaper. There's two Takali. Could play Elder Spell, honestly. Yeah, let's play an Elder Spell. Hey, Mountain Wind Cat. Awesome. Thanks for that donation for a donation deck. Thank you very much. Oh, it is good against their, their Champion of Dusk, isn't it? The Zealot I wasn't too worried about, but yeah, Champion of Dusk is a good hit. Um... I'll play one command instead of two. Let me get over to check out this donation deck here. So, Windcat, when would you like me to play your deck? I guess, yeah, you gotta send, send me the list. Um, and then what day and then what time slot? First, second, third, or fourth? And uh, make sure to send me the deck list. Yeah, we played Dinos already. So you can see the the uh, records over on the left-hand side. The Dinos is currently uploading to YouTube right now. Probably has another uh, 10, 15 minutes or so. Darn. So I didn't play Honor Guard because you know I'm kind of planning on going towards Kaiserath here, but we do need another Black Source. I'll get Midnight Reaper out and play first. Because even if that dies, we'd get to draw a card. Maybe I should have just gone with Honor Guard. Alright, tomorrow anytime? Cool. Jeskai Drakes. No land. Saved it. Perfect. Thanks, Windcat. We had so many lands last game. <laughs> or seven lands in our first ten cards last game. After mulliganing. Why can't we just get one more land here? We're probably gonna draw like one of our temples. I have not survived millennia to stand down now. My bloodline flows through you. Come on, Black Source, just draw a swamp. Swamp. Ugh. Gotta be kidding me. Lucky. Look at all these lands over here. I'm so jealous.
thirst for life. That's a good card. It's gonna be so tough to beat this Orin. I demand servitude. Playing a dangerous game here. I fight anyway. Darn. All right, own one. Yeah, this song's called Fickle Game. Yep, that was a fickle game right there. All right, here we go. Much better hand. It's our best hand so far. Both of none of those hands against the vampire deck were very good. Let's see how we do here. No, you're not behind. Just Asian. Um, I'm level forty five. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm gonna need lands. Um I did purchase levels twice. And you know, I got the, the pass that got 10 free levels, and then I purchased levels two other times for certain cards that I wanted at the time. So do, should we keep the fifth land? No, we can ditch the fifth land. Yes, I want Midnight Reaper. Whenever you whenever you pay for the other level or there was like a there was like an extra like you could pay for on Midnight Reaper yeah let's just get the same play yeah yeah it's like the master pass thing like you pay extra gems and get extra levels. Because I didn't think that you'd be able to finish out the 100 levels anyway, so I just went ahead and did that. But it looks like you'd be able to finish it, so... Looks like that wasn't needed, but oh well.
Just getting that in before they... Um... Before they <clears throat> command the Dread Horde. Definitely think they have the counter spell. Yeah, that was one of the two times I bought bought levels. I bought levels and got the wrong Soren card. Cause I I needed the three mana Soren and I saw that that the Soren was one of the rewards and so I was all excited. So I was like, I'll just buy some levels and get that Soren. And it turned out I was buying that for the six mana Soren, the not the correct one. There it all felt that was a feel feels bad. Hey, there you go. See, Vebs, you did the same thing. All right, I wasn't the only one to do that. No, I don't think they have a Wrath. And if they would play a Wrath, I would draw five cards because of Midnight Reaper. Sorry, I'm late. And get four afterlife tokens. Hurry. Got that card on top pretty quickly. That's how it was meant to happen. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. Embrace the bloodlust. All right, maybe they do have wrath. Oh, well, I guess I have honor guard to stop bell hunt. I was thinking keep the land in, in hand because of bell hunt. But I guess I have honor guard to stop that. Yep, ritual soot destroys tokens. Tokens on the battlefield have CMC of zero. Zero. Hey, Dejanski. I guess it could have been Command the Dread Horde that they were keeping on top. Yeah, I guess it's probably Command the Dread Horde. Yep. Well, actually, wait, we have Honor Guard, so that thing doesn't do anything. So that's... Yeah, they're just seeing if they could get the Soren. No Soren for you. I wonder if they realize they weren't going to gain life. So they're down to two. That's not, two's not very much. I can tell you that right now. Especially when I got this Soren that's going to be ticking up. Hold that thought. Oh, uh, they're, they're kind of dead. Dead-ish. Uh, 
Vampirism is a useful trait. Honor Guard was awesome in this match. Just have a, just a ton of elite vanguards, or elite guard mages, and hostage taker. So definitely want the other command and the other Gideon and the Dispark. Yep, yeah, that's what that's what we see. Like, yeah, hero, guard, mage, taker. Legion's end is great against hero, but doesn't do anything against the rest of their deck. Noxious Grasp kills basically everything. Oh, the game could go really late, and we could finale of eternity for a bunch, I suppose. That's me bringing in a lot of interaction spells. We'll trim a couple. Also. I'm not going to bring in duresses because, you know, we're, we're likely going to be playing a late game, going back and forth. I don't really want, and so the, I don't really want duress that's going to be a, a dead draw in the late game. But honestly, maybe it's just never a dead draw. Maybe they just always have infinite cards. We haven't drawn Tamik yet, but I like the card. It's a cool card. We haven't drawn it yet. I, mean, I wouldn't say Tamik is awful. It's still just a 2-3 flyer. It's not wonderful, but it's not awful. Um, I don't know exactly. Yeah, Thor, Thoral. I don't know specifically the Azorius Flyers list that you are referring to whether I like it or not. Uh, we we played an Esper Flyers deck two days ago during our 12-hour stream that I really liked. I wish I would have kept that temple on top right about now after you know drawing four spells in a row here. I train at home, Obviously that's prowess. just not something that we would have known that we were going to be doing. I don't think I shouldn't have played the finale. I was not prepared for this. Don't know what I should have played instead. Darn. There goes command. Yeah, it looks like they brought in a bunch of Duresses and Kaya's Wraths. So maybe they cut, like, elite guard mages. And hostage takers, like, they could have cut their creatures with the ETB effects. It's possible. I 
I haven't been impressed with any Safara deck. I just haven't been impressed with Safara at all. I feel like Safara is too hard to get out. So we need 12 mana to be able to bring all of our creatures back. So we need seven more. <laughs> we only got five. We're a little ways away from that. The elemental tribal decks are really strong. They're some of the best, like they're some of the best decks in the format. Thanks, Royal Flush. Let's slow this down. Thank you very much. Here goes nothing. No, oh, bounce my oath of Kaya. What are you doing over there? Okay, five more lands. Hey, Dante West. With the Twitch Prime sub, welcome we to, to the channel. Thank you so much there. That's sub number 12 on the day. Trust me, I have a plan. Thanks, Dante. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, I'm... Here I'm trying to get MTG bot subbed again. It's supposed to be. It's, it wasn't supposed to... The sub wasn't supposed to run out. We need four more mana. Let's try this. <sighs> now what? Yeah, Naya Feather is also really strong. The plan, no, the plan of our deck is not stall until finale. That would be a horrible, horribly planned deck. Our our Esper opponents just killed all of our stuff. That'd be that'd be a terrible plan for just a mid range deck. Stall until you have twelve mana. No, that that is not our game plan if you show remorse I'll show restraint don't worry I got this we would like to draw command the dread horde that'd be our best thing to be doing right now darn it the thought erasure bug actually hurts us we don't want cast down no I am not making it this certainly looks like our opponents Sideboard out all their creatures. And they're just keeping every single card on top, every surveil. 
Must be nice. I've got time. Be a bad idea. I mean, they, they'll find command a lot faster than I will. I think you would think so. This isn't a fight you can. You know what? I'm not done yet. They likely have a Dovin's Veto also. Especially for how they've been playing. I'll protect you. I would be very surprised if they did not have a counter spell in hand. So the, kind of the problem with, like, it's not much of a problem, but the problem with having Command the Dread Horde in your deck is you're not really out of it with these games because of Command the Dread Horde. So it's like we have to sit around and just get our brains beaten in, losing by miles, and, you know, just to see if we top deck Command the Dread Horde and see if they have the counterspell by that point or not. All right, change this up. I wish Tamik stopped Teferi's untapping two lands. So knowing that it doesn't. What's up, Huday? Thanks so much for continuing that sub there. I really appreciate that. You are amazing. Definitely possible I should be waiting there. Whoops, sorry. But I'd really just kind of be waiting a turn, because I'd probably just be taking out that Teferi.
Midnight Reaper is not such a great draw against Cry of the Carnarium. Hey, Scamden. Thank you so much for that resub. Let's see. Suppose I play it. Yeah, it's just, it's just like the worst time to draw Midnight Reaper right there. Bounce the Seraph. I've got it. We will meet again. Hey, Paragrip, stream's going well. Looks like we're losing this game. Ugh. Right on schedule. Let's skip. Should have waited it. on the noxious grasp. Hey, Rex. Keep up the pace. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Cool. Now draw another Command the Dread Horde. <laughs> no, you're Rex. I was talking to Rex. Draw another Command the Dread Horde. Angel. How's our Angel gonna die? Tyrant Scorn. Responsibility. That's more like it. Darn. Oh, and two. Admittedly, that's that's going to be a tough matchup for us. We're not going to win that one too often. That's. Like, the control deck, you know, that just has lots of card advantage. They had the rats in there and everything. That's it's going to be our tough matchup. 
especially countering our Command the Dread Hordes. That's like our, our one card. They can give us a bunch of card advantage. But. I haven't been playing against too much Esper recently. As we talked about at the beginning of the video. Yeah, Esper is, is not too well positioned right now. But they got us. More boss. Alright, so I'm killing Llanowar Elf. Right? So maybe I should kill War Boss. So if I, if I kill a land war elf, they get to attack with both their creatures. They make a couple two twos. All right, yeah, I guess we'll kill war boss. Hey, deal, lol. We're gonna leave back on our guard in case of another war boss. Darn. Looks like I should have killed the land war. I didn't have a land. All right, speaking of land, hopefully we draw one and get to play Oketra next turn. Attacking with one here, because if they coil Shalai... Then they would have the, the free attack with the war boss, and don't want them to have that free attack. Not doing a good job of getting this fifth land for Oketra. Here we go. Now we need a six land. Honestly, maybe I should just be playing Resplendent Angel here with them having double Phoenix. No. Yeah. Six land, we're going to act, probably activate Resplendent Angel. I guess it depends if they attack with both Phoenixes or not. I suppose. So sixth land. Lyra, Dispark, Soren. Oh, 
those are the cards I would like to draw. Contempt. That's most of the deck. Duels off a potion arms. Let's just fight. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, the enchantment, yeah, where every token you makes a 4-4 angel. I don't think that that card is... is worth it in the deck. I, like, on its own, it does nothing. You know, like, you have to have it, and you have to, like, spend five mana to play it, and then hope that you have other token stuff afterwards. That's just not going to be worth it in this deck. Midnight Reaper is not one of the many cards that would have been good. Even cast down at this point because they attacked with the Phoenix. <sighs> so many cards would have been good here. That was not one of them. Six land would have been great. Been able to activate Resplendent Angel. So all excited to play this deck. We haven't haven't won our matches yet. I haven't won any matches yet. We're not drawing super well. Do you think the Esper matchup is tough? I was certainly disappointed to lose the vampire matchup. I thought that was gonna be a good matchup for us. But our opponent drew a lot better than we did. Alright, we need to draw a sixth land. Just need to draw a land. Draw a land and we're good. Draw a land. Nope. It's frustrating. Oh, if I would have killed the war boss, yeah, we would have had the, the seven. Oh, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, I didn't do that math. I was... Just considering how I was frustrated. Well, I mean, that's my bad. Yep, I was much more focused on thinking about how staying alive and stuff. Okay, so don't think I want Legion's End. Like Legion's End, Noxious Grass, both of these are like removal spells that are okay at times, but not necessarily what we want. Do kind of feel like this is a Kai's Wrath matchup, though. Phoenix is going to be maybe the toughest thing that we deal with. All right, taking command out. And a Midnight Reaper. It's a lot of fours. I guess it looks like it's more fours than what it is. Well, Ten's still a lot. Shalai doesn't match up that great against their cards. Should I be playing some of these instead of Shalai? Shalai's a lot better whenever I have Lyra, though. No, Takali doesn't do very much, but it just kind of sits. Um, no, yeah, Takali, they don't really have things that Takali shuts down. Um, but it's just a, a two mana creature that can kind of hold the fort down. I mean, I could play Noxious Grasp instead, but as we saw there, you know, they were just playing like War Boss. Honor Guard can block a couple of tokens for us. Hmm. Let's see. Honor Guard can block that thing. Do something. So we'll see if we hit our land drops this time. Nope.
Draw lands. Blech. Most disappointing league. Whatever I'm asking to draw, like we're drawing just the the opposite. And yeah, I mean, I'm not helping it out. You know, I had I had lethal that game one. Noxious Grasp would have been much, much better than Honor Guard if I would have put in Noxious Grasp. So I'm not... I mean, I can't just blame blame the deck when I'm saying it's a disappointing league. I mean, it's also... It's me, also. I'm not putting myself in the best position to win. Have a good night, Storm. So our opponent mulliganed to five there. And I guess their hand wasn't any good and just conceded the match. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mark that down as a win. Nope, Shuffler has not been kind to us. We'll put Honor Guard on the bottom against Hallowed Fountain. Plus, I'm going to need some lands. Another Esper matchup? Ugh. This is probably my... The matchup I would like to see the least is Esper with this deck. I was all excited to play it because nobody was playing Esper anymore, and now we're just running into Esper players. That's what we call unfortunate. We're, we're a similar deck to Esper, but we're going to be better against, like, we're probably better against aggro. We're more focused there. Um, and, you know, we have the two-color mana base and everything, but they, they have more card advantage. You know, they got Teferi's counter spells. You know, they have blue. The any longer. They're going to be much better in a late game. And uh, that's not good for us. to the good part. That's a good one. <laughs> what a mess I've made. This is hardly my worst defeat. So I wanted to try to kill the Teferi and not exile it with Contempt so I could command it back. That was my original goal.
Trust me. You'll thank me later. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Stork, I have not played either version of Feather, Boros, or Naya. So just to let you know. I haven't played either one. My mind needs a rest. But with that being said, I've been more impressed with the Naya version and Season of Growth than the Boros one. Whenever playing against it. I've got it. No, you cannot submit zero with Hostage Taker. Hostage Taker is not a May. I really should have seen that coming. And so I just had one one Hostage Taker take the other to be able to just have a, a Hostage Taker and backup. That didn't work. Did not work against the third hostage taker. I was only expecting them to have two of them, honestly. I didn't, I didn't think they would have three. I, 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 just, I didn't think their deck played three, to be honest. <sighs> we need to move. I know my responsibility. I play that, they have to shake her it. Oh, they they play seven hostage shakers. Yeah, it kinda of felt like that. Thought people weren't playing Esper anymore. 
I was wrong. This is not the best time to have Commander Red Horde in hand. That's a card that we'd like to top deck later. Don't want it right away. Guess. It's like the Soren's going to get disparked. But it does. It could kill a Teferi and get disparked. You know, it could trade for two of those things. On schedule. Don't worry. Or not. I got this. The ringing of my sword is your death knell. Time for plan I B. Am as soon as I think of one. Tide. That's more like it. Here we go. My best card, and they draw Thought Erasure. I guess, well, I guess they have to take Command, because if they take one of the other things, I can Command it back. Command. Yes, yeah, so I guess they have to take Command. I guess Command is the best card. The Gideon's very good, because it doesn't I get to Fairy Bounce. To I believe in you, friend. And attacks hard. Might be a bad idea. <laughs> I've fought worse. I believe in you. Just better to not let them draw a card and bounce something. Only time Even though they have the backup to fairy. That's still just bounce something, draw a card when they have Citadel. It's it's a very useful thing. I'd like to just attack them. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's try this. Your light will cleave the darkness. I'll protect you. Bleh. That was a really tough matchup for us. I can take a hit or two.
will lend you my strength. I think my opponent has a command the dread horde on top. Got time. Stop having so many heroes. No. Those who cannot just meditate and prepare. Okay, we'll try Legion's End over Cast Down for Hero. It's so narrow, though. The thing is, if I try that, then this game they're just going to have all their hostage takers, so... I'll just keep Cast Down. Yeah, I mean, there's times where Legion's End good, there's times that Duress is good, times having this Angel, the Cast Down, like, everything's kind of situational. Hard to hard to say. Yeah, Kai is good against Command the Dreadhorde, but I'm also a Command the Dreadhorde deck. So if I'm just like eating all the the things, the targets for Command the Dreadhorde, then I draw mine. That's not a very that's not very good. It's hard to mulligan four lands, three spells. I think one of these commands is going to get discarded. So instead of just putting the other to the bottom and then one get discarded and me not have any commands anymore, I'm just going to keep them both. We've been flooding out anyway. Obviously getting very punished immediately. I have... <clears throat> I have Kaya in the sideboard for all the decks with CMC one stuff. It's for mono white, mono red, vampires, mono blue. It's for all of those decks. That's why Kaya's in my sideboard. Oh, I missed one life link. My heart is hollow with scorn for you. You belong to me now. And then yeah, then Phoenix, obviously also, then Arc White Phoenix. For sure, that's it's not Arc Light Phoenix isn't as, as big of a deck, so I'm not as concerned about that, but yeah, it's certainly good there. That according to plan. Time for a drink. I 
I told you one of these would get discarded. So we have the backup. Yeah, this is uh, Orzhov Midrange. A little Teferi, I can't Noxious Grasp and use my mana here. No time for a break. Oh, what are they doing? They should tick up, right? And then get to instant speed Elder Spell. I was hardly my worst defeat. Be the straw. of time. That's unfortunate. Wait, didn't I just put that to the bottom? I, I guess I put it on top. I did that too fast. I thought I was putting that to the bottom. I did not wait till their draw step. I waited till their upkeep to cast the, the grasp. Because they had the two mana for Dovin's Veto. So if they were going to Dovin's Veto it, I wanted them to be able to do it during their turn. I wanted them to have to do it during their turn. Because they already had the mana available for a counter spell. I didn't wait for them to draw. I didn't let them draw the card for turn first. Well, we got a win, though. And we got a win versus Esper. So very good. And we are one and three. Got that win. Let's keep these with the temples. I want to keep these without. I want to keep this hand without the temples, but we got five lands. We should hopefully be scrying into more spells. Uh, we had lost to Esper. Which is definitely a tough matchup for us. We lost to... Um, we lost to Vampires, which I think is a good matchup for us. And we lost to Gruul. After I missed Lethal Game 1. And then bricked on land for a long time Game 2. Against Vampires, we had bad mana troubles both games that we lost I guess I guess it's just Esper Day you can find all the deck lists here we 
can also check out the videos of all the decks on the YouTube channel there, and there's links to the deck list also on the YouTube channel. I did not stop this fight, but I will finish it. Accept the dark. So yeah, I could have ticked up and killed the Teferi, but I think I'd rather just get the Resplendent Angel in play. Here goes nothing. Another day, Kerr. Boo. Hey Skydiver, or Sky Driver. Thanks for the kind words. Uh, for the the card backs, you can find them Here in the store. I think that's that's where I got them. Just purchased them through the store. Easy as that. You're welcome. I got this. Hopefully this connects. Looks like I should have just killed this Teferi a long time ago. Let's slow this down. Hurry. Yeah, I decided to keep the cast down in hand because of like hostage taker. Instead of just cast down, kill the Teferi. You know, hostage taker, hero, all that kind of stuff. I really should have seen that coming. The third scorn. That's more like it. Well, that's a problem. Keep up the pace. We're not being this other Teferi. I suppose. Hold that thought. I suppose if I top deck command the Dread Horde, maybe. No, I am not making this up as I go. I 
But no, I mean, obviously, if I could go back and, and redo it, I wish I would have just cast down and killed their Teferi. If I, if I could go back and redo it. They're playing Command the Dread Horde on all these things. Yep, next next set that comes out, we won't have Big Teferi anymore. So, again, admittedly, this deck is not very good against Esper. This is the matchup I want to face the least, and this is the matchup we keep on facing. It's really unfortunate. At least we are one and one against it. <sighs> Wish we could have played against different decks, but I mean I guess we I guess we played against two other decks. Yeah, we could play an Immortal Sun. I mean Immortal Sun would Immortal Sun would definitely be good for this matchup. But it's hard to resolve Immortal Sun, and they have, like, the Disparks and everything. It's not... It's good, you know, when it works, basically, but it's not always good. It's not as good as it was. Like, now... Now Esper is ready for Immortal Sun. They're playing just a ton of Disparks. There was a time when they weren't, and it was lights out, but it's not lights out. <laughs> what a mess I've made. The only reason to make that block is you have Command the Dread Horde. That is the actual only reason to make that block. I abhor my 
Definitely. So my best play against a, a command the dread horde next turn would be to minus the Soren to bring back the Resplendent Angel and then play a new Soren. That's just not a very good play overall. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'm glad we didn't do that that play. I'm known for my excellent timing. Obviously, it's just all these lands that we, you know, all these six lands that we need. You know, it could have been, could have been like a bunch of spells for our command and draw us a six land, but no. Obviously not. from the world any longer. You need to slow down. I will have revenge for House Markov. I suppose that's Curse how it was you. meant to happen. <laughs> Time for a drink. This is hardly my worst defeat. <sighs> Put thoughtfulness before action. Esper is like the kind of deck that seems like everybody's playing the exact same. Seems like all, all three of these lists have been the exact same 75 that we've played against today. It's not the kind of deck that people kind of play the, you know, kind of build on their own, customize and stuff like that. People play, like people that play Esper play the exact same list as whoever, whoever made this Esper list. Sorry I'm late. You need to take a time out. This is hardly my worst defeat. We're almost assuredly losing this game. It's just going to take a little while. I don't really see us winning this game, though. But we're going to fight on. I am not going to sit this one out. This might be a bad idea. All right, well, that's fair, Yenza. Let's slow this down. Too many Hero of Dominarias. That card's too good. Well, I'm definitely higher on our Orzhov midrange deck than... 
what happened there. I just keep on doing that. I keep on like playing a deck. This happens all the time, I feel like. Like I play a deck that I'm excited about that has a bad matchup, and then we just only play against that bad matchup. Like we always play against like the one matchup I don't want to play, and we just play against that one over and over again for the video, and it's so frustrating. Uh, trying to produce content and you just play against the same like the same match that's that's bad for you over and over again. And then people just, you know, have like their they'll just immediately draw conclusions about the deck and everything because they just see it play against the same bad matchup over and over. It's so frustrating. No, it has nothing to do with arena matchmaking. It's just it's just randomness, you know, that's just that's just bad luck. You know, that's just how it is. So we lost to we lost to vampires that I think that we we will like I think that we will beat vampires a very high percentage of the time. But, you know, mana flood, mana screwed, two games, and then you lose. And then we lost to a Gruel deck where I did have, where, I mean, it was my fault with the Gruel deck where I had lethal game one and I missed it. And so that's my fault. And then, uh, you know, then we get mana screwed game two. And then we play against Esper three times. The the one match that, as we, as we talked about, like at the beginning of the, the video, a match that I, I really thought was on the down, the downswing. A deck that I thought that was on the downswing, but nope. The Gruel Dinosaur deck, the Gruel di like for example, the Gruel Dinosaur match, I played against Riz you know we played against Risen Reef either four or five times there, and like this is like the deck that I wanted to play against the Risen Reef, and you know, and then we don't see any Risen Reefs, and we just see because you know I wanted to see like how Honor Guard and ever you know work against all these Risen Reef decks, but nope, just Esper. So that's unfortunate. So I'm sorry about that. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, I don't know. Don't get to pick the matches. It'd be preferable if I could just play against five different decks. You know, even play against Esper once. It's fine to kind of show that show a bad matchup and you know play against four other decks. It'd be it'd be nice if I could just say, all right, I'm playing. I'm recording this YouTube video. Please play against five different decks. That'd be good. But it's not how magic goes. It's not how life goes. So that's Orzhov Midrange. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it still. Um, even though even though we only played against the same bad match of a bunch. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. Hope you enjoyed the video and get to hit the like and subscribe buttons. But that's it here for Orzhov Midrange, and I'll see you for in the next video.